Hi, my name is Mr. Cho and welcome to my study room. Today, I'm solving objective questions 30, 32, 33, and 36 of the 2023 WASI Feather or Elective Math Paper written by Ghana. I choose to put these questions together because they are under the same topic, probability. We move straight to the first one, which is question 30. And it says that, Find the total number of different arrangements of any three letters of the word birthday in a line. Like I said earlier, this is under the topic probability. And the key fact from this problem are that we are finding the total number of different arrangements of any three letters of the word birthday in a line. All right. In probability, when we are talking about different arrangements, then we can use permutation in working out the total number of different arrangements. All we have to know is the total number of letters in the word and how many letters we are arranging at a time. So in this case, birthday has eight different letters. So total number of letters in birthday is eight and then we are picking three letters at a time so the total number of different arrangement of three letters at a time from the word birthday will be eight permutation three meaning that we have a total of eight letters and then we are picking three at a time for the arrangement and i said earlier when we are talking of different arrangement we use permutation which can be found on our calculator so now that we know this we are just going to put 8 permutation 3 on our calculator and then that gives us the answer to the problem we have our calculator here all we need to do is to press 8 then shift and permutation is a multiplication sign you can see n permutation r or npr there that is a permutation so you press the multiplication sign and the p comes and then 3 you arrange eight letters picking three at a time and then you hit equal to and that gives us 336 so 336 and looking through the options we can see that that is option c and using permutation is just the shortest way of doing it using the calculator especially because this is multiple choice question and we are not interested in how we find the answer but we are just interested in the final answer but then if we were to show working or an alternative method it would be that we are arranging three letters so i'll put a box here i divide it into three so the first letter will be here the second letter will be here and the third letter will be here so since we are arranging from the word birthday which has eight letters the first letter can be arranged in eight ways and now that we bring the first letter we are left with seven so the second letter will be arranged in seven ways and then we are left with six the third letter will be arranged in six ways and when we finish we multiply them so it will be eight times seven times six that will give us a total number of different arrangements and we can check that quickly from our calculator again so eight times seven times six equals 336 so it's also 336 you choose the one that comes easily to you and then you do that we move on to the next question which is question 32. question 32 says in how many ways can a committee of six be selected from 10 students if three particular students must be included the key fact from this problem is selecting six students from 10 students and a very important information here is that three particular students must be included and i will say that total number of students is 10 and the number in committee is 6 first of all i should quickly say that in question 32 i spoke about arrangement so when we are talking about number of different arrangements then we are talking about 
permutation but anytime we are talking of selections as we have it here then we are talking about combination so again we have 10 students in total but then the question said that three particular students must be included so since these three particular students might be included these three students the number of ways of arranging them is one or some will say three combination three so let me put that so that is three students selecting three at a time so that's three combination three and then after selecting the three students that must be included we'll have seven students left and remember the number of students that must be in the committee are six so how many more do we have if we select three that must be on it already i'm sure you will tell me you have three left to be in the committee but then we have seven left out of the total of 10 after taking the three so number of ways of selecting three out of the seven remaining students will be seven combination three and the answer is what we are going to put as the final answer to this question so three combination three is one or we can just verify that times let me get a calculator quickly let's get three combination three first so three shift division which is combination then three gives us one like i said earlier then now let's do seven combination three so you have seven shift combination three and this gives us 35 so let me write 35 here 35 and one times 35 is 35 and if we look through the possible answers that is going to be option b we move on to the next problem which is 33 question 33 reads that the probabilities that alex and richard will score from a penalty kick are 0 0.65 and 0 0.35 respectively if they take a penalty kick each what is the probability that at least one of them will score as usual we need to identify certain key facts from the problem here and that is the fact that the probability that alex here will score from a penalty kick is 0 0.65 and then richard will score is also 0 0.35 because of the respectively here meaning that the first one is for alex and the second one is for richard then he said that if they take a penalty kick each what is the probability that at least this is a very important information at least one of them will score i will start by first of all rewriting the probability so let me say the probability of our less scoring will be p of a and then that is 0 0.65 and if the probability that alex will score is 0 0.65 then it means that the probability that alex will not score let me call that p of a naught will be 1 minus 0 0.65 which will give me 0 0.35 because total probability should always be one then also if i let the probability that richie do score to be p of r and that is 0 0.35 then the probability that richie do not score which will be p of r naught will be equal to 0 0.65 which is the same thing total probability should be one so if the probability that he will score is 0 0.35 then probability that he will not score will be 1 minus 0 0.35 which is 0 0.65 right then the next thing we need to pay attention to here is at least one of them scoring probability of at least one of them scoring so the probability that at least one of them will score will be either alex scores and richard will not score which is r not or probability that alex will not score and richard will score or the probability that alex will score and richard will also score at least one means one or more let me put that first so one or more means either alex scores and richard doesn't score 
or Richie scores and Alex doesn't score or both of them score because it means that at least one of them or both. That's what at least one means. I want you to pay particular attention to that. Then now we are just going to plug in these numbers and solve. So probability of A is 0 0.65. Intercession in probability means multiplication. So times probability that Richard will not score is also 0 0.65. Then or in probability is the same as union, which is addition. So plus probability of Alex not scoring is 0 0.35. Then times Richie scoring 0 0.35 then or comes again so that is plus then probability of alex scoring is 0 0.65 and probability of richie scoring is 0 0.35 then we'll just put each of these in our calculator and that gives us the final answer so let's do that quickly so i'll put it just the way i have it here i bring my parentheses first then i have 0 0.35 six five times zero point six five then plus zero point three five times zero point three five we have to close the parentheses then plus open parentheses zero point six five times zero point three five we close the parentheses as usual and then that will be equal to 309 over 400 but all the answers here are in decimal so we click on xd to send it to decimal and that will be 0 0.7725 let me write that 0 0.7725 and when we look to the options that will be option b and now we move on to the last problem for this study which is question 36. question 36 says that two hunters aim at a target the probability is that the first will hit the target is one over three and the second will miss is three over four find the probability that only the second will hit the target as usual, let's underline certain key facts that will help us solve the problem easily. And the first thing I want us to notice here is that the probably that the first will hit the target is 1 over 3. So maybe let me call that one probability of H1 because of the first. That is 1 over 3. And the probability that the second will miss will be let me put that here because i'll put probably that the second will hit let me call it a2 here which will be finding and let me put the probability that the second which i'm calling a2 will miss so a2 not will be three over four and again total probability is one so if total probability is one this is in common fraction so i would like to write all in common so probability that h1 will not hit or will miss that is p of h1 not will be 2 over 3 because 1 minus 1 over 3 is 2 over 3 and then if this is the second one will miss is 3 over 4 that means that the probability that the second one will hit is 1 over 4 right good and now let's get back to the question we have to find the probability that only the second will hit the target only the second will hit the target remember there are two hunters that aim at the target so the probability that only the second will hit the target will mean that the first one will miss and the second one will hit so that is what it means the probability that only the second one will hit the target so it means that the first one will miss that is the h1 not and the second one will hit and that will be from here probability of h1 not to be 2 over 3 and for intersection means multiplication and then the second one will hit is 1 over 4 and when we do the multiplication this is going to be 2 over 12 
which is the same as 1 over 6 when reduced. And looking through the options, that will be option D. And this is where we bring today's study to an end. I hope this study have been of help to you. If yes, then why not consider subscribing to this channel for more videos like this. Till we meet again in my study room. Bye-bye.